Hello friends, hope you are doing well. In last video discussed about how to run Odoo in local system using terminal. Now we will learn useful URLs which help you to navigate one URL to another URL for specific operations. First, we will see how to use Odoo service in three different IP addresses in your local system. Uh, the purpose is when you are using different version of Odoo in some browser, might be Odoo service throws exception due to cache memory already used with different databases. So in local system, you can use Odoo service with three different IP addresses. The first one is localhost and port number which already you used in browser. So here you can see we are using localhost colon 8069. We already logged in, so session is active right now. But we are using 0.0.0.0.8069. When we press, it will redirect to login page because in this IP address, the session is not generated. The third one is 127.0.0.1 colon. 8069 again there is if session not found it will redirect to login page so now these three IP addresses you have to remember I hope you already know about this one if you don't know then don't worry you can just practice it one time and you will get it idea and uh, this will help you in future if you are working with multiple projects using same browser so now move to the main topic if you want to jump to the list of databases you can use this url like localhost colon 8069 slash database slash selector selector means it will fetch database list of databases from postgres sql The second one is if you want to jump to the uh, create or either drop the database, back up the database, duplicate the database or set master password, you can use this URL. Slash web, slash database, slash manager. Here you can see all the list of databases appear including for this database having three operations either delete duplicate and backup another is a create database a fresh database restore database or set master password and if you already logged in it means session is activated for this browser and using this port number then you will automatically redirect to the inside the erp using this URL slash web but if you want to go to uh, to the login page you can use this one web slash login so that's it for this time and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to share and subscribe this channel. We'll see you in next video. Thank you.